yeah, um, it was a, as I said, when I first signed, you know, it was a dream come true to come to such a big club and to make my debut at Ibrox. It was a great experience, um, you know, fantastic crowd. And uh, can I can't wait for first game of the season because um, the lads keep telling me when it's a sellout, you know, the atmosphere is uh, unbelievable. So, yeah, um, it was great last night and um, I'm looking forward to, you know, carrying on with the next couple of games that are coming up in the next couple of days. How difficult has it been to sort of settle in the squad? Obviously, a lot of new faces come in over the last couple of weeks. Has that been difficult to manage? No, nah, not at all. Um, you know, lads have made me feel really welcome um, and all the other new lads as well. Um, so, you know, it's been easy for, for us new lads to sort of fit in and, you know, the staff has made us welcome. Everyone at the club, you know, if we need anything, they've, you know, they've really helped us you know, to settle in. So, um, no, nah, as I said before, um, a great bunch of lads, good coaching staff. You know, it's a great club and everyone's made all of us feel welcome. So we all feel settled. Well, it takes a, a little while for the guys to get used to the style of play here. Also, there's so many new faces coming in. Guys going to have to find out how they fit in the squad. Is that going to take something that's going to take? Um, obviously all the players have come from all different clubs and you know different managers and they have their styles of play so you know you, you do come to a new club and it may be a different style of play but um you know everyone at the club know how we want to play this season and know how you know uh, the manager wants it and you know i'm sure every every player that is here has played that sort of style of football at some point in their career at a different club so you know i think um everyone's settled in well everyone sort of um took on board what, what the manager wants since, especially since I've been here in the first week of training and you know I think that showed you know last night in the game you know the new lads have sort of you know come in and you know understand the style of play and you know it's obviously uh, we're learning it and I think uh, the lads have picked it up pretty quickly. What's your mindset coming into the, the team and you're up against a guy who scored 15 goals last season from right back and then left back you beat the club captain I mean, is that, is it, are you here to just make up the numbers or is it your focus that you want to get in there and, and get that 15 slot? You know? No you know obviously Every player wants to play, but um, you know that the two lads done very well. Uh, you know Lee and Tav's done really well last year, and you know I've I've got to be patient and wait for my time. Um, you know because they're you know two top quality players, um, so you know I've got to come in and you know buy my time and work hard in training, you know, and hopefully when I get the opportunity, you know I need I need to take it. But you know as I said before, there's two great fullbacks there, and they proved that last season. So you know I've just got to be patient and get my head down and work hard. How much will it help you that the fact you played in the Scottish Premiership last season, so you're aware of what you're going up against? Yeah, um, being on loan last year at Killy obviously helped me experience, uh, you know, Scottish Premier League and you know, know what we're going to be facing this year. But you know, a lot of the lads have played at this level as well before, um, and I think we know what what's uh, ahead of us, and you know, we're more than capable to you know go out there and perform week in week out. Hopefully, and as I said before, it's um, all the lads, I think, know what, what's in store, you know, for the season ahead. In terms of competitions and challenging, you're in the League Cup just now, you're going to go into the league. Do you feel with the squad now that's been assembled and everyone getting used to each other that it's full steam ahead, you can challenge right there and then? Yeah, I think, you know, we've got the quality um, and the talent in the squad, you know, to push. Um, you know, so we take every game as it comes, game by game. Um, and yeah, you know, as I said, we, we'll push as hard as we can. We won't stop, you know, right to the last game of the season. And uh, hopefully, you know, that will take us to where we, you know, we want to be. A lot's been made about the change to the League Cup format. Yeah, still very much in pre-season, but in a way, has it been quite good because it allows all new players to gel and get used to each other before the league kicks off? Um, yeah, you know, obviously, I don't know whether it's, you know, ideal as in, you know, the lads, like minutes-wise, normally in pre-season friendlies, you could maybe change a team at half time and give 45 45 and the lads get their minutes in different ways but you know as i said it's it's how it is this season and you know i think we we're going to have to deal with it and uh the lads will play a lot longer than maybe what the staff want want us to play uh, this early on but you know it's we're gearing to you know the 6th of august that's our main target to get ready for that first game of the season so um, you know, we, we want to win all these games, we want to go in and, you know, we want to show what, what we're going to be about this season in these uh, four games. How was your Euros experience? Yeah, being out of the Euros was fantastic. Um, you know, obviously it's disappointing not to get minutes, but um, just to be there and experience the whole tournament um, 
and be involved in such a massive tournament for me it was a massive learning curve you know watching um you know the the champions uh, when we played germany just just to be there was a massive learning curve for me and it's something that, you know I, I sort of cherish forever and say that i've been to a major tournament and hopefully you know um you know with michael o'neill who's done a great job and you know with the world cup qualifiers coming up in september um hopefully you know we can have a another good campaign and see where that takes us and hopefully we can experience a world cup um but as i said you know we we he's looking forward and the squad definitely when you know sort of we left the the camp in in france uh, everyone was sort of looking forward to meeting back up in september and you know uh, get looking forward to starting the world cup qualifiers is that experience that lessons that you that you learn you think that's made you a better player even without having sort of gotten touch? yeah definitely um you know the standard of training training with you know uh, the high high quality players you know that you're away with um you know people in your position who's more experienced um watching them play you know you can take little bits of their game what you need to improve on yours um and you know the the advice that the older players give you as you, as a younger player coming through you know can only can only help me and help the other young players that were out there and obviously watching the other teams and when we're playing against them but not even that sitting back at your hotel watching the other games on TV you can always Know, sit there and look at you know top world class fullbacks, um, and just you know try to look what they do and look at your game and see what you need to improve on and try to add little bits that you can into your game. Having had that <coughs> those big atmospheres over in France, does that sort of give you that drive that you want to try and get sample something similar here? You know, get Rangers back to that sort of top level playing Europe and things like. That? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know the the crowd and atmosphere from you know Northern Ireland fans was unbelievable um, and you know from what the lads have said so far it's going to be exactly the same at Ibrox you know I experienced last night 32,000 it was unbelievable um, and I can only well I can't imagine what it's going to be like on the first game of the season and you know it's something that I'm looking forward to and you know the support at the club's fantastic you know from the fans so yeah it's uh you know I'm looking forward to it and it's you know something that's going to you know push on the lads this season. Um, yeah, I when I was at Kilmarnock on loan, my first game was in the cup against uh, Rangers, and um, you know that was a fantastic experience for me. To my first game to be playing you know, against such a big club, and you know six months later, I probably wouldn't have thought I'd be sitting here. But you know I'm delighted to be uh, at such a massive club and to be given this opportunity. What and what what goals are you setting yourself this season? You know, what is there excitement among the squad? Do you guys feel that you? You can challenge Celtic. Yeah, definitely. You know, I think we're, we've got a talented squad. You know, the, the clubs, you know, brought in good players. You know, like Joey Barton, Nico. You know, there's just, you know, we've got that good mix between, you know, experienced players and you know them younger players. And um, you know, as lads and as a squad and as you know, a bunch of players. I think you know we're very confident in a. Uh, you know, and our ability and what we're capable of this season. So, you now we're going to carry on working hard. There's a couple of weeks left to the first game of the season. So, you know, the next couple of games is still leading towards that first game of the season. So, uh, we'll put everything into it over the next couple of games and you know, things that we're going to be looking at to do during the season.